Hey builders, what's up? My name is Katrina and today I have 10 early game tips I think you need to know in the early stages of Sandrock. So even if you're just starting out or if you've been playing for a while, maybe there's something here that you didn't know. And if you do find any of these tips helpful, a thumbs up on the video would be super helpful for me. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, but without further ado, let's just jump in to exactly what these 10 tips are and how you can use them in your game. Okay, so starting out, Tip number one, changing your day speed. Don't know if you guys knew you could do this, but this was helpful for me because the days were going by a little too fast for me. So if you go to options, you'll see at the top there's game speed. You can move your cursor to the left or to the right. And to the left, it'll actually slow your days down. To the right, it'll speed your days up. So depending on your gameplay style, this could be really useful or really helpful. So for me personally, the days were going by too fast. I needed more time for collecting resources and talking to townies. So I slowed my game down. Tip number two is get your free gifts, baby. All right, if y'all haven't been talking to the townies, this is really important. Make sure you're talking to the townies because they all give you, or most of them give you something for free. Heidi here is gonna give me two bricks. And when I go over here and talk to Hugo, you'll see that he actually gives me two copper bars. So it depends on their craft, but whatever it is, they do tend to give you something for free starting out. So introduce yourself. Some of my favorites are Amira here, who's absolutely gorgeous, by the way but she gives you a ceramic bottle, which is great because it adds um, a perk to you when you put this in your home. And then my next favorite is Aunt Vivi. That's what we call her in my Let's Play, y'all. I wish I was related to Aunt Vivi. She's just the best, but she gives you a handmade scarf and I just, I love it. So it's those are my two favorite people to talk to in the beginning stages of Sandrock. Tip number three. Look for the treasure chests. You guys probably already know this already, but the tre treasure chests were important in Portia, but in Sandrock, they are just as important. They're all hanging around randomly and you can find them just about anywhere. But after you get your resources, you can actually break the box down. So break the treasure chest down and you'll get an additional resource from it, whether it's a wooden board. I think some of the more important chests give you um, a hard plank, a hardwood plank or something like that, but they give you wood resources, which is really cool. This box is located in the town center and it gives you a level three bone necklace. I love that necklace. Um, and then this box was actually pretty cool. It's located on this railing over these buildings close to the town center by Amira's house. And if you crack this chest open, it will give you the pioneer book, I think. So I'm just showing you guys a couple of different treasure chests you can get. Tip number four, storage boxes. Okay, storage boxes, storage boxes storage boxes don't waste your time trying to remove things out of your inventory or buy those inventory spaces make you some storage boxes there are multiple reasons why storage boxes are so important early on one here's my process i'll just show it to you i like to name my storage boxes and organize them by resources so for example you can see i'm naming this one plant resources i go into my inventory and i pull over anything that's plant related so do fiber whatever pull those over the next box I may name stone resources so stone resources would be like dregs brick um, stone copper anything like that that I got from rocks or dirt um, and so you can organize your boxes and and you can stay organized and free up your inventory space but there's one thing that's more important than that we get cloud storage in sand rock guys oh my god okay check this out stone throw I think it's trough stone trough I made two of these and I threw them in one of my boxes just to give you an example. I will go over to the assembly station and it'll pull the resource from your box. You don't even have to have it in your inventory anymore and this is, that's so clutch, so clutch. Tip number five, double up on your machines. Okay, this is super important early on because um, I like to double up on my furnace, both my furnaces and I also double up on the recycler. This helps you to keep resources on hand all the time and make sure that you have your resources in there recycling or, or working when you're out collecting or talking to townies, whatever the case may be, always have your resources working while you're out and about. And this is a great way to do it. So double up. Tip number six, don't forget your do. Don't forget y'all do. And I'm not talking about the mountain do. I'm talking about y'all water do. The do that come off them, them rocks and off of the plants, okay? Your do can be used to create water at the work table. So you can create the water and you can apply the water to your water tank for free. Now, as you guys know, you can buy water from Burgess, but it costs and, you know, why, why do that when you can get water for free? It may not fill your tank up much, but it helps. 
Tip number seven, focus on commissions. This one is probably well known, but I just like to include it because it's always important to remember why the commissions are so important. Not only does these commissions line your pockets, especially early on in the game, but it's also a great way to build your workshop points or reputation and also to build relationships with the people that you would like to build relationships with. You know, if you want to get to know Heidi a little bit better, make sure you're picking up them commissions that Heidi is putting down. Now, tip number eight. Don't know if you guys knew this, but you can reset your skill points. So this may not be an early game tip, but if you look in the upper corner of the map, you can go to the clinic and now you can enter in and talk to fine ass Fang. That's what we like to call him, y'all. That's fine ass Fang. He don't talk much, but he look good. So you click on acupuncture and um, under acupuncture, you can choose to reset your gathering, workshop, combat, social, or all of your skill points. So if you messed up a little early on with your skill points, you want to reset them. This is a great way to do it. So go talk to fine ass fan, y'all. Go ahead. Go talk to him. He's nice to look at, too. Tip number nine is the Commerce Ga uh, Guild Guide. Oop, that's a mouthful. The Commerce Guild Guide is sparkling right there next to Weird Ass Yawn, um, but you can get all of your commonly asked questions or anything that you might be a little confused about, the guild guide is a great resource to help you figure out whatever your question may be. Now, tip number 10, since we're on books, check your encyclopedia. Guys, do you not just love the encyclopedia? I hope you guys are using this resource. It's so cool, but you have geography, ecology, and items. And literally you can go in here and anything that you've ever come across in Sandrock exists in the encyclopedia. You've got a description, where the resource can be found and even some of the things that you may get by collecting this resource you have you know information on the areas that you visited with a cool picture to kind of show off you know as you can see like sand rock here but any of the places that you visited will be in here and it's just a really cool resource for not only for you to know where to find something but also to kind of have a recap of everything you've ever collected or anywhere you've ever visited so i thought that was a super cool resource um, so those are all the 10 tips that I have for you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed these 10 tips. I hope you find them useful. And if there's something that I missed and that maybe I don't know, please drop it down in the comment section below. I would love to hear any tips that you guys have as well, because I'm just starting out in Sand Rock and I'm just loving the game. I'm totally obsessed. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, if you are interested in some Let's Play content, I have, I'm working through the storyline on my channel so feel free to drop on by i would love to see you there with all of that being said i appreciate you taking your time today hope this was helpful and until next time i will catch you back in sandrock sometime soon peace